Fabric Pool is a NetApp data fabric technology that lets you automatically tier cold data to low cost object storage, either on or off premises. What we do is attach an aggregate to an object store, creating an aggregate with two performance tiers, a performance tier using SSDs and a capacity tier with object storage. Attachment is made at the aggregate level, but all the tiering decisions are made at the volume level. In this video, I'm going to show you how to set or change volume tiering policies. Volume tiering policies tell ONTAP what to tier in that volume. System Manager makes setting volume tiering policies super easy. Before you do that, it's important to know what the various policies do and why you would want to use one tiering policy on one volume and a different tiering policy on another volume. All right, so let's launch System Manager and get started. Here we are in System Manager. Let's go find a volume. How about Project A? There we go. So here we are. Project A, we're using snapshot only. Let me show you how easy this is. We're going to go up to More Actions. We're going to select Change Tiering Policy. And we got a drop down that has snapshot only. That's the default, auto, and none. Let me explain why you would want to pick one of these versus another. So snapshot only, this is our default tiering policy. This one is going to basically take any cold snapshot blocks that are no longer being shared by the active file system and tier them over to low cost object storage. Uh, the default cooling period on snapshot only is two days, so it's roughly 48 hours, but that's user adjustable via ONTAP CLI. So you can go in and modify the tiering minimum cooling days um, on this volume if you'd like. Um, change it to a time period other than two days, but the default is going to be two days. Um, what we do then is, you know, move off the cold snapshots over to the, the object store. When those cold blocks are red again, so say you do a snap restore or something else where you're going to touch those cold blocks, we're going to read those blocks, we're going to serve them up to the client, and we're going to write them back to the SSD. So any additional reads that come in are going to be ultra fast because they're going to be on flash at that point. Auto is a new tiering policy that we introduced in ONTAP 9.4. So in ONTAP 9.4, um, instead of just being able to tier snapshot copies, you can tier any cold block. So a lot of folks in their data centers, more than 50% of their data center is you know, old, inactive data you know, from projects from three or, or more years ago. Um, now you can tier those off and get those off of expensive flash, move them to low cost object storage. For auto, the, the default cooling period is going to be 31 days. Unlike a snapshot where you, you want to move it off relatively quickly as soon as we take care of all the storage efficiency, um, here with auto, you know, you don't want to leave for the weekend, you didn't touch a file, and then it gets tiered off. So the minimum, or, or the default, is going to be 31 days, but you can adjust that minimum if you like. Just like snapshot only, you can go into CLI, adjust it on this volume, but the default is going to be 31 days. Um, one interesting difference with auto is, so say the read comes in later on to the cold block. Client application needs to touch the, this old data from some data set from, from a couple years ago. Um, cool, we're going to serve it back up to the client. Normally we write that back to SSD, so any additional reads are going to be super fast. Again, they're on SSDs at that point. But there is a difference with auto. So if it's a sequential read coming in, we're going to serve it up to the client just like the client expects, but we're not going to write it back to SSD. So what, what's the difference here? What's the logic here? Is because, so say you have an antivirus scanner or an indexer, something that's going to come through and basically touch every single block in, in your data center, you know, because you want to do AV, you know, you don't want those to be rewritten, you know, back up to, to SSD. So when a sequential read comes in, you know, the data is going to stay cold. We serve it up to the client, but we're not going to write it back to the performance tier. The last policy that I can do in this volume, and I'll show you backup policy in a, in a different volume, um, is none. And this is really, you know, you have very sensitive data. You, it can never leave the building. You don't want to tier it to, to anywhere else. Um, that's okay. Set the tiering policy to none. Again, the default tiering policy is snapshot only. So if you have, you know, sensitive data, set the tiering policy to none, and we will never tier it out of the data center. It's going to stay on SSDs. And really, to change them, so our default was snapshot only. We're going to go to auto, click save. It's done. It was that easy. I'm going to show you um, one more tiering policy that we can't do. Um, actually, it's tiering policy A. I think it's destination. So you can't do this 
unless you're in a DP volume. So um, the backup tiering policy only works in um, destination volumes. So let's go up to more actions. We're going to go to change tiering policy. And here we notice a new policy sh has shown up. This is the backup tiering policy. So the backup tiering policy can only be set on DP targets. So um, this is like a snap mirror, snap vault relationship. So for here, this is the project A destination volume. And the, the neat thing about backup is there's no temperature scans. All the blocks in this volume are immediately going to get moved to the capacity tier. We know they're cold. They're, they're basically, it's a snap mirror or snap vault relationship to you know, project A. This is the project A destination volume. So we don't have to subject it. So you don't need to wait two days. You don't need to wait 31 days. We're immediately going to start tiering this data. Um, another neat thing on the backup policy is when cold blocks in the volume with a tiering policy set to backup are red, they stay cold. So just like those sequential reads, um, but this is going to be any read. Um, so previously in, in 9.2 and 9.3, um, we were writing these back to disk because we thought, hey, customers are going to want you know, the, the high performance of flash on any additional reads. Um, but you know, after talking with people who have been using this for more than a year, they said, no, for, for these kind of backup volumes, I just want the data to, to stay cold forever. I don't want to impact flash whatsoever. Um, just serve it up to my client, let my client make use of it, um, but you don't need to write it back and, and, and impact flash. So, so starting in 9.4, the backup policy, we're going to serve up the data, you're going to be able to read it with your client applications, but we're not going to write it back to SSDs. And again, changing this from you know, snapshot only over to backup, it's that easy. Um, so I just want to show you how, how easy it is to, to change these tiering policies um, in System Manager. Um, th there's no long policy scripts to manage. Um, you don't have any sort of conflict resolution schemes that you have to troubleshoot. Um, you really just open up the volume, select a policy, and click Save. It's that simple. If you like this video, please be sure to click like below and subscribe to see more. Thanks for watching.